<laughs> hey, folks. Holy heck, eh? Packed house. <laughs> right on. Right on. Good to be here. Good looking crowd, eh? <laughs> right on. I, uh, you guys come out for a couple, couple chuckles, did you? Chuckling? <laughs> That's good. I got some jokes for you, yeah? I think you're going to like them. I think you will. Here it goes. <laughs> here it goes. My name, my name is Brad Brands. And if there's one thing you should know about me, it's that if there's a sock in my bedroom doorknob, to leave me alone. Because uh, that means I'm busy fucking the other sock. <laughs> I, uh, I, got, I got some advice when I was younger. I was told that when you're making love, you got to act like it's your last day on earth. But uh, girls don't really like it when you start crying in the middle of sex. And... <laughs> Uh, call your mom to tell her that you love her. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, uh, haven't spoke to my mom in a long time. It's been a while. No, not very good luck with the ladies, folks. I was uh, driving around with this girl the other night, and I was trying to talk her into having some car sex, eh? She was not interested, no. I tried my best, but she just wouldn't go for it. I've been put on some romantic music, but nope, nothing. Even the Uber driver couldn't convince her. Man, oh, man. <laughs> Good lord. No, not very good luck with the ladies. I got some, uh, some clap-on, clap-off lights installed in my bedroom, eh? Figure that might be a problem from all the, uh, the hardcore sex, you know what I mean? But, uh, but, uh, my, uh, my, my, electrical my electrical company gave me a call and just wanted to make sure I was still alive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, horrible with the ladies. They have been playing that, uh, <clears throat> you know that Angry Birds game, you know, on your phone, Angry Birds? I'm playing that a lot, eh? I'm getting pretty good at it, which is great, because uh, nothing could get me more prepared for trying to date in England. Holy heck. <laughs> angry birds. Lots of angry birds flying around, eh? <laughs> no, not too good with relationships, folks. Me and my girlfriend were on a break. Going on uh, three years now. <laughs> Holy heck. I don't think she's coming back, eh? Time flies when you're, when you're crying and jacking off, eh? <laughs> That's for the best. You know what they say, folks. If you love something, you set it free, right? And if it comes back to you, it's yours. And if not, you should probably check next door because she might be fucking her neighbor. <laughs> and she was, yeah. <laughs> and I live next door to my uncle, too, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah this, uh, it's going to be an awkward Christmas. Yeah. No, I should have known it wasn't going to work out, folks. Should have known. One night we're in the bedroom there, eh? And uh, she called me Kyle. But uh, my name is Brad. <laughs> Br Brad Brands, remember from before? <laughs> yeah, that's the way it goes, eh? I know it's 2018 now, folks, but where our gender roles are reversed, holy heck. She used to like to stay out all night with her friends and get drunk and come back to my place to force me to go down on her. <laughs> Good Lord, then she'd roll over, fart, and fall asleep. <laughs> Wasn't all bad though, eh? She did send me flowers once, she sent me flowers, but uh, the card was made it to the wrong name, eh? And I don't know who the fuck Kyle is, but good lord. <laughs> nah, she's from England here, eh? She had some slang I never really understood. One night she told me that her uh, fanny was fluttered. <laughs> I didn't, uh, didn't really know what she meant by that, so I just opened up the window and called an ambulance. <laughs> Then, then she went to my uncle's, so... <laughs> no, I tried to, uh... Tried to watch some romantic movies with her, eh? Maybe try to get us back in the mood, you know? Watch some movies like uh, The Notebook and uh, The Titanic and... How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days. <laughs> yeah, she was, she was really paying attention to that one, let me tell you. <laughs> no, you guys, uh, you guys seen that Notebook movie, yeah? Yeah, yeah? yeah, there's one scene there, the guy goes, uh, I wrote you every day for a year. I wrote you 365 letters, you know? It's good math, that's pretty good math. But I started thinking, you know, that first letter was probably a lot different from the last one that he sent. I bet you the first letter went a little something like this. I love you, you're my soulmate. And I cannot wait until we are reunited, right? That's nice. But I bet you the last letter went a little something like this. Listen here, you blonde bitch. 
I've been writing it damn near near now. Holy heck. Balls are turning blue, she is. <laughs> I love you. You're my soulmate. Please, please come back. <coughs> nah, that's the way it goes, eh? But I did, I did write her a love poem, eh? Write her a love poem. I'm going to try to... I got all the words together. I'd like to share that poem with you guys tonight. If you want to hear it, you want to hear it? Yeah. All right, here's my love poem. Roses are red. Violets are blue. You're a whore. <laughs> Yeah, she hasn't gotten back to me yet. That's, uh, nah, that's the way it goes, eh? I'm a nice guy. Been a nice guy my whole life. Been, I've been told that uh, nice guys finish last. You guys hear this stuff? Nice guys finish last, and I think it's true. And I'm starting to find out why. It's because we let the ladies finish first. You know what I mean? Uh, no. I'm a real nice guy after sex, eh? I'll, uh, I'll offer to do your taxes. <laughs> Yep, most guys pull out their phone and call a cab, but I'll pull out a spreadsheet and ask what your basic income was in 2017. <laughs> yeah, nothing like giving a lady an orgasm, eh? And the reassurance that she will not be getting out of it anytime soon. <laughs> that new stuff tonight, eh, good boy? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all right. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. I'm from, uh, I'm sure you guys can tell I'm not from here, eh? From my, uh, my thick Puerto Rican accent? <laughs> No, I'm from, uh, from Canada, eh? Woo. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's my, that's my uncle came here tonight, eh? Right on. <laughs> now I'm from Canada, eh? And people, uh, people keep calling me a, a moose fucker. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, moose fucker this, moose fucker that, eh? You guys, you guys ever seen a moose before? <laughs> way the heck up here. Damn near impossible. Good lord. I don't even own a stepladder for Pete's sake. Man, oh man. Nah, that was too much. Too far, too far. Now nah, I'm sure you guys can tell I grew up in a, in a small town, eh? Small town boys in the big city now. Lots of uh, noises around here, eh? Holy heck. <laughs> Nothing but uh, sirens and sirens and sirens. There we go. <laughs> Tell you, back home, we don't even have ambu am ambulances. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> right, what a tongue twister, eh? <laughs> no, back. <laughs> no, back home, we don't have ambulances. We use canoes. <laughs> A lot of people don't make it. A lot of people don't make it. <laughs> nah, it's a small town, a eh? real small town. I tell you, this town was so small that if a tree fell in the woods and nobody was around to hear it, the cops would arrest a black kid. <laughs> I, know. I know, I know. That one really does well in Detroit, I'll tell you. That. <laughs> Too much? Oh, uh, that's all right. That, you guys like those, uh, you guys like one-liners? Yeah. Thank you, Uncle Bob, thank you. <laughs> I like one-liners too, eh? They're, uh, they're short and sweet. Just like the time I lost my virginity, except now no one's really laughing and I still got 50 pounds in my pocket. <laughs> she was a prostitute. <laughs> it's a joke about hookers. <laughs> now, it, was a, it was a weird, uh, <laughs> great crowd. It was a weird day today, folks. My, uh, my guy in a call just gave me a call. <laughs> yeah. Me, uh, yeah, my guy in a call just said I need to start taking better care of myself. He also said I need to stop booking appointments because I do not have a vagina. <laughs> it's, uh, it's probably for the best, to be honest with you, because I'm allergic to gluten. <laughs> One of those yeast infections will probably kill me, eh? <laughs> I'm not too smart, not too smart folks. I remember back in school there, the, uh, the math teacher gave me a mop and told me to go help the janitor. But uh, I didn't really mind though, because I didn't like math and it was the only time I got to see my dad. <laughs> yeah. 
Wish I could be more like my dad, eh? He was always so positive, especially on the day I was born. Walked right into the hospital room, picked me up, and said, I'm positive he's not mine. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I got quite the family. I got, a, I got a cheap uncle. Real cheap uncle. Tell you, my uncle's so cheap that he went to the hospital, and the guy gave him to two hours to live. The only thing he was upset about was they just paid for an hour of parking. <laughs> Don't belong that one, shit. <laughs> no, that's all right. Yeah, I got quite the family. I used to travel with uh, my grandpa quite a bit, eh? We were out in the woods there, and he said, uh, if you ever get lost in the woods, just go to the tallest tree there, and I'll come and find you. You know, it's great advice. But uh, he didn't really have much advice for, uh, for bear attacks. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he got mauled by a bear. He, my grandpa... <coughs> My grandpa got mauled by a bear. That's what I'm trying to say. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, no, 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 sorry. It's part of the, part of the joke. But, uh, now I can remember, uh, I'm starting to use uh, humor to deal with uncomfortable situations, folks, and I don't think it's very good, eh? Not good at all. Remember we were in the hospital there, we were all around uh, my grandfather after the, the bear attack. <laughs> and uh, everyone said, you know, come on, Brad, you got to say something here. So I just walked up and said, uh, so a Jew and a priest walk into a bar, eh? <laughs> and, then a, and then a priest did walk in and then uh, said some words. And, uh, bear mauling attacks went up one more that day. So my grandpa was mauled by a bear. <laughs> no, I'm not too smart. I'm sure you guys can tell now, eh? <laughs> I took one of those IQ tests, eh? And uh, they told me to get a vasectomy. <laughs> yeah. turns, out, uh, turns out my IQ is the same number as my shoe size. You know what they say about guys with small feet? We're dumb. <laughs> Now, I took their advice, so I did get that vasectomy, but uh, that was a bad idea, too. Well, that doctor made a horrible mistake. Holy heck. Actually ended up giving me a, a circumcision. Another one. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even have any spare, to be honest with you. No, you guys do have a very nice city here, actually. A lot of nice people around. Even the, even the homeless are friendly. I tell you, I denied this one guy's spare change and he still said, God bless you. But I was at church and I didn't put any money in the collection plate. The priest told me to go fuck myself. <laughs> Good Lord. Speaking of religion, I used, to, uh, I used to want to be like Jesus, eh? So I got a job as a carpenter. But, uh, pretty soon I started to spend all my money on cocaine and hookers. So. That's not like Jesus, eh? <laughs> I mean, I guess I did pay that one girl to wash my feet, so I was kind of like Jesus, but that was 69 days, so not the dirty stuff tonight, eh? Okay, all right. <laughs> no, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking I want to have kids, folks, but uh, I'm single right now, eh? So, so it's tough. But I did some research, and I think I'm going to adopt, eh? I think, uh, I think I'll get one from China. That's, that's the kid's name, is one. <laughs> Yeah, I figure I'll get like a 12-year-old, like a eh? Because nothing like having a kid with seven years' work experience. <laughs> not, a, not a child slavery crowd either, eh? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> no, you guys are actually a great crowd tonight. I think, uh, I think we could all agree on something, eh? Homophobes. Pieces of shit, eh? We agree on that, yeah? Good, good. My, uh, my dad used to be a homophobe. <laughs> But uh, then he got cancer, so let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> now, uh, racism, that's not very cool either. My, uh, my grandpa used to be a racist, but then he got cancer and mauled by a bear, so... <laughs> Watch yourself, eh? Now, the reason I think I'm so accepting of people's lifestyles and ethnicities is because I'm, I'm terrified of chemotherapy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks a lot. I'm Brad Bryant. Have a good night, folks. Thanks a lot.